centre, where you join a capacity house of more than 12,000 for what should be a great night of boxing. We're going to see Jeff Fennick, the Australian IBF World Bantamweight Champion, defend his title against your own Kid Coffee of the okay, United folks, States. If you received your pre-fight instructions, I want to remind you, I don't want any hitting on the break. I expect a clean break at all times. Watch your low blows and watch the holding and hitting. All right, I want a good clean contest and good luck to both of you. Shake hands. The final instructions from uh, referee Rudy Battle. And at a moment, the boxers will be called out for round one of this 15 three-minute rounds contest. The championship distance, 15 three-minute rounds. And I was making the point earlier that both men uh, are boxing not just for themselves tonight, but for their countries. Both have tremendous coming, national pride. Jeff Fennick in the green uh, shorts against Jerome Kid Coffey of the United States, who is very quick, very fast indeed. But Jeff Fennick, very durable, very strong, and a tremendous hitter. Has a lot of power in both hands. I think, John, both these men are going to feel each other out from the start and uh, get down to serious business within the third or fourth round. They, as you said quite rightly, both men are, um, are looked upon by their nations as heroes. And Jeff Fennick is a young man has got a great, great deal on his shoulders tonight. And uh, I'm sure he realizes that, and so does Kofi. Yeah, well, Kofi scored a moment ago with a nice combination left of the body and right to the head. But not a lot of power in the punches, and Jeff Fennick uh, didn't flinch. All right, break out clean, no hitting on the break. Step back, stop punching both of you, step back. Nice and clean. The referee wants a good clean, clean fight. There. No hitting on that break. <laughs> Coffee seems oh, to have a very stiff left jab, which... Uh... Yes, he does. Um, I saw him in uh, right, training. Break, let him up, and, uh, let him up, let him up. Step out. Nice and clean, no wrestling. That's nice and straight, clean. straight from the shoulder and put a lot of weight behind it. I right, break, break, break. Well, there's the, the strength of uh, Jeff Fennick swinging his opponent around. A bit of a grin from no Coffee and uh, the referee uh, asked Jeff Fennick not to do that again. I thought that was a bit silly on Jeff's part because there was a lot of energy and strength he used up there doing that. All right, break, um, break, break, break. He's got to settle no down wrestling. mentally and just get his act together properly. He mustn't lose his cool, especially because this is a very important part of the fight, the first two or three rounds, and uh, he must keep his head. Well, um, Topic showing his experience there in the ring, getting away from that corner very, very nicely indeed. All right, break, step out, step out. The referee wants them to break again. Jeff seems very worked up for this fight. Um, I just hope that he settles down and uh, puts, uh, puts his punches together and, uh, and gets his uh, thinking properly. Done. Well, Coffey evaded a couple very nicely then. He's a good mover. Right, let him up, let him Jeff, up, turn him loose, turn him loose. Jeff landed a straight left to the side of the head. Oh, yeah. Coffee in the neutral corner, but he dances out of trouble. So far, it's been Coffee on the back move, and uh, and Coffee uh, on the back move with Fennick going after him. Right, and on, that's the bell to end the first round of this 15 three-minute rounds contest for the World Bantamweight Championship. A comment from Barry Michael. John, uh, Coffey's exactly what I expected. A very, very classy technician. A beautiful mover, as you can see here from the, uh, the uh, camera above the ring. Moving very well. This is the sort of fight I expect. Jeff should just pressure, keep walking up, and I'll, I'll be, I'm predicting uh, uh, that he'll catch up with Fennec with uh, Coffey as the fight progresses around about the eighth round. Um, as Joe said, he should keep his cool a little bit um, and not waste punches. But um, the first round, Coffey showed that he's here. He means business. He's a classy technician. There's no doubt about that. He certainly is. He uses the ring very well indeed. And listen to the crowd, a capacity crowd at the Sydney Entertainment Centre, and the atmosphere is absolutely tremendous. What a great night it is for Australia and for Australian boxing. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, seconds out. I can't see, seconds out. Stay in your corner. I can't see Coffee moving like this for 15 Round rounds. Two. This is just got to keep the pressure on him. Nice and clean. Well, there was nothing in that first round. No wrestling Nothing in, in it at all. 
Stay off the net. Just uh, right from uh, Coffey, went around behind the head of uh, Jeff Fennick. No damage done. Five breaks. Turn him loose. Fennick Let him is go. finding uh, Coffey an elusive target. Not easy to hit. Both men seem to be very tense still. Um. Five break. Let him out. Oh, and uh, Jeffrey Fennick tried one behind his Keep back <laughs> as he had Coffey in the headlock. Didn't make contact, and uh, I don't think the referee saw it. I think for a world champion, I don't think he should do things like that first. Uh, I mean, uh, he's far too talented for that. Well, that was a round arm swing from uh, Coffey. He's been working on a new punch, which he calls the Coffee Creamer. I think they're all trying to do the Muhammad Ali business, you know, try and create a new punch so the press will catch on to it. But uh, when that bell goes, believe me, unless they're good clean shots, uh, they're not going to tell too much. Straight lefts by uh, both boxers. The coffee again dances away. Benny has to go after him. But the uh, coffee is using the ring well. He's a smart mover. I think unless Jeff uh, Jeff Fennick uh, doubles up on his left jab, he's going to find Coffee far too elusive. If he can't break, no hitting, no hitting. Nice and clean, nice and time. clean. Let's go, keep a it clean. Minute 30 left in round two. All right, break, break, Coffee, break. Stop a couple talking, of stop light rights into the body in that clinch, but the referee wants them to break. And the crowd's not too happy about that. They want to see them in close, mixing it up. Very good stiff jab that Coffey's yes. throwing out. He has a nice uh, left leg, got a right into the body then too, underneath uh, Phoenix's uh, left your head. arm. Watch your head, all right, break, turn him loose, turn him loose. Nice and clean, watch your head. Referee asking them to watch their heads. All right, break, you're holding, you're holding, no hitting. And now Phoenix goes hold to hold the body, he's scored with two or three good go. punches there. In uh, that clinch, but no power in them. Seems to me that Coffey wants to tie up. Phoenix uh, attacks what the uh, right, break, break at the moment, and I think as Watch he gets tired, the clinches. it'll have less effect. Coffee, the winner of 26 professional contests. Jeff Fennick, the winner get of 11. Neither man defeated in the professional ranks. Coffee disappointed when the United States uh, boycotted the Moscow Olympic Games in 1980. No hold, no was hold, robbed no, of right, a chance of winning uh, a medal on that occasion and has been looking for uh, a professional world title contest ever since. Was sidestepped by Shingaki uh, of Japan who elected hold, to buy Fennec and lost hold. that title to the Australian. And uh, the end of round two. John, I think uh, Jerome Coffey is surprised at the enormous strength of uh, Jeff Fennec. While... Uh, He's no doubt, uh, you know, a very classy boxer. I think he's going to find it hard to uh, to fight this kind of fight for too long. I think eventually Jeff will get him fighting his kind of fight up close. Uh, you can see that uh, Jeff is, you know, he's, for a bantamweight, he's awesomely strong. I think the Americans are going to see uh, what a great little fighter Jeff Fennick is as this fight progresses. The referee has just uh, warned both boxers. He has said, I want no punching after the bell. He went first of all to uh, Jeff Fennick and then over to uh, Jerome Coffey and uh, gave them both the same message. Uh, Joe, uh, how are you seeing it so far? Well, I think even up till now, they're both filling them, filling themselves out, so I wouldn't give either of them a, a winning point on this one because um, I think they're both pretty even Stevens. This day. Yes. yes, there's been nothing in it so far. And uh, now the uh, referee wants the mouth guard uh, oh, put into uh, Coffey's mouth, and Fennick comes charging in before the mouth guard was in properly. But uh, Coffee saw him coming. Poor corner work there. Yes, it was. They didn't get that mouth guard in. Well, Fennick being the true professional that he is, he took the chance, and if he'd have knocked him out in that point where he was trying to put his gum shield in, they could have blamed the corner for that. Good left to the face by Fennick. Missed with that left uppercut. And Coffee, a light left to the body. The crowd have really right, taken to this fight. Him up, stop wrestling, stop the wrestling. Keep it clean. There again we see the strength of uh, Jeff Fennick. He's very powerful fight. for uh, a bantamweight. A man of his size. Clean contest. I just hope Jeff doesn't need that strength he just wasted by lifting this guy right. up in the uh, latter part of the fight. No, it, he's expending uh, energy right, and doing things like that. Swinging coffee around and then lifting him uh, off the canvas. 
It's good for wrestling, John. Yes, great. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not wrestling, of course. This is the World Bantamweight Championship Contest. All right, break, let him up. Jeff Fennig of Australia in the it, green nice trunks against Jerome Kit Coffey of the United States. All right, break, step not back. Not too many clean back, punches back. have been landed in this round. I can see, as Barry Michaels said, I can see Jeff Fennig just being far too strong for this man and uh, overpowering him in the uh, latter part of the fight. Yeah. Well, it has been said that uh, Jerome Coffey doesn't have a knockout punch, that he doesn't hit uh, all that hard, but he has knocked out Watch 11 ahead. of Watch his 26 ahead. professional opponents. And that's not a bad record. It's an excellent record. All right, break, break, break. You're wrestling, you're wrestling. You're wrestling, said the referee. And again, we're seeing the strength of Jeff Fennick, and that's going to uh, uh, sap the strength from uh, Jerome okay. Kid Coffey. But it wasn't a hard blow. It was ridden nicely by Coffey. Good Coffey right made the miss with the right hand as Fennick went into the body. Oh, good right from Fennick. Over the top. Good right to the jaw. That one hurt uh, Kid Coffey. And Fennick scores with two left to the body. Not much time left in this round. Coming up to the end of the round. I break, and break, it's been watch a good ahead, uh, final minute ahead, from uh, the champion, Jeffrey Fennick. Oh, and he scores again with a good right to the body. Chases Jerome Coffey across the ring. Coffey has been heard of it. The bell's gone. And I think Coffey would be pleased to hear the bell at the end of round three and listen to the crowd. But the crowd is actually 100% behind uh, our little Aussie battler, Jeff Fennick. And I think that was a much better round by Jeff. Although, as Joe said, uh, Jeff's expending a lot of unnecessary energy, but uh, I think I think Coffey is, is you know shocked at the actual strength of Jeff. Here's Jeff on the on the uh, forward move, actually missed with that overhand right. Coffey, a very slippery, evasive customer. Uh, Jeff is having a lot of trouble hitting him, but I think as the fight progresses, he'll land more and more. At this stage, I can't see that uh, that Coffey has got the punching power to stop uh, Jeff's forward onslaught, and that's I think that could be the decider in this fight. Jeff uh, normally is a very aggressive type, uh, Joe Bugner, and uh, unless Kid Coffey can hurt him, then uh, his aggression is not going to be I, cer I certainly can't see it, Johnny. Uh, Coffey, although he does have a very good left jab, he just doesn't seem to have a right nice pass and that, clean. Uh, nice and clean. It's going to do much damage to Fennec. I just want Fe Jeff to settle down and do his job really professionally and do a number on this uh, Coffey because uh, uh, the, the world has seen him tonight. I mean... Uh, the United States of America is televising and of course Australia so Jeff could have a lot riding on this fight the more professionally he does it the better it will be for him all right great 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 watch well, ahead Jeff is, uh, watch ahead uh, well I thought towards the end of that uh, round three was starting to get on top he was looking good looking very strong and he's landed a couple of good keep lefts up, again in clean. this uh, round round four of this 15 round contest neither of these boxes has been the uh, championship distance of 15 rounds. Jeffrey Fennick, in fact, hasn't gone beyond nine. He has stopped all of his opponents inside the distance. What I'm surprised at is that this Kofi, although he throws one or two left jabs, he just doesn't do anything else. And uh, by the look of his record, he should have, I would have thought he would have been a more capable fighter. Well, Fennick doing uh, most of the scoring again in this round. Stay off the neck. Quite right. left, uh, the right, Frank, you're holding and hitting, you're holding and hitting. But, of course, when you've got a no, relentless no. fighter like Jeff Fennick in front of you, maybe <laughs> I'm expecting a bit too much of Get coffee. off his head, get off his head. Uh, good punching again. And Fennick goes out to his hold head, on, had on, him on the ropes, on, but uh, Coffey pushes him out to the center ring. All right, break, 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 you're holding, you're holding. Step back. Up. Referee determined to have a good clean uh, Let fight. him up, let him up. Put him loose. He's uh, been kept up. pretty busy by these two. Oh, good left to the face by uh, Fennick. Put him loose. Stay off that head. Jeff has portrayed right. some incredible strength in this head. fight. Jeff Fennick is putting his punches together tremendous, and the pressure is just enormous on this Kofi. No holding, no holding. Good right over the top by Fennick. 
Not a lot of power in it. Jerome Coffey came back with a lift, uh, but most of that taken on the gloves by uh, Jeff Fanning. All right, Bray, stay off the back of the neck, both of you. Keep it clean. Step back. This is another pretty good round for uh, Jeff Fenning. Oh, without doubt, Jeff Fenning has uh, won the last one and this one, obviously, the last two rounds. Stay off him. goes after his no man. Spinning. Toppy on the back move most of the time. Fenning doing most of the, uh, the walking up. Lands again with a couple of good lefts to the face. Another left to the face by... Uh, Fennick, but he was right. made to miss for that right. Keep working. All right, break, break, break. Step out. Scores Come with Let punches go. to Step the body nice in that clean. clinch. Box. Coffee not throwing a lot of leather at the moment. Corner. And there's the bell for the end of round four. Another good round for uh, Jeff Fennick. I've given him rounds three and four, Barry. I think uh, most definitely, John. I think at this stage you, you could say that it's probably only a matter of time before uh, Jeff starts landing with, with better and better punches. And, I, you know, I'd, I'd be surprised if uh, Coffey could, could see the 15-round route out. He's never been 15 before. He's been 10 on a number of occasions, but not for, uh, for quite a while. What's the water? Clean the uh, corner up again, when you get finished you know, the now. Strength, the awesome band and white strength of, uh, of Jeff Fennick in evidence in that round. Well, uh, he hasn't been the uh, 15 rounds, but neither has uh, Jeff Fennick. Jeff, uh, in fact, uh, has uh, only been into the ninth round. He hasn't even completed in, nine rounds because in, uh, he has stopped his opponents in the ninth. That is true, John, uh, but uh, I was at that fight uh, when he fought John Farrow in Brisbane, and in the ninth round, he was as strong as in the first round. I think that's the most okay, incredible let's go. Let's part get the water about up the guy. Let's uh, get the water. His strength just stay phenomenal. Back, stay back, stay guy. back. And now stay it's back. round five. The round referee five. has determined that they'll wait for the bell. And it's round five. Five of 15. And again, Fennick stalking his man. Coffee on the back move. It's around. amazing. During the, uh, during the round, uh, sorry, at the end of the round, when uh, both men were uh, on the camera, they both seemed very alert. Very, right, break, very break, break. No wrestling, no wrestling. So, Step uh, back. Turn around. I don't think, although Jeff has really put the pressure on him, I think Kofi is very fit. And uh, we're still right, in the loose, early, early part of the fight, only fifth round Keep now, it so uh, it's a long way to go yet, not even a third over. Well, of course, both uh, have put a great deal of effort into the preparation for this contest. They've trained very, very hard, and both are, as you suggest, extremely fit. And what's, what's also is uh, very, very impressive is that Jeff Fennick is improving with each fight, and uh, it's, it's remarkable to see a young man being world champion, uh, impro improving with each fight. It's, it's great for Australia. All right, break. Step out nice and clean. That's it. Box. Coffee, a left through uh, to the body. What, what Fennec mustn't do is allow Kofi to settle down with that left jab. Nice because and clean. Nice be, and clean uh, in there. Still a very good uh, punch of uh, Kofi's the left jab. Well, Coffey tried a right then, uh, but uh, there didn't seem to be a lot of power in it. No, he hit Fennick on top uh, of the head, so as you say, it didn't make, register too much. All right, break, 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 but turn him uh, loose, turn him 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 Fennick mustn't allow Kofi to settle down. This is actually a much better round for Kofi. Yes, uh, he is uh, doing a lot better Kofi in this round. Keep working, keep working. But uh, Fennick has landed a couple of good body punches there. This is with that uh, uppercut. And uh, a right uh, from uh, Kofi was a scoring punch. Fennick putting on the pressure at all times, which is... Uh, Upsetting Kofi, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, good uh, combination from Fennick, right and right, let him left. up, let him up. Nice and clean. Step back, both of you. Nearing the end of this round. Approaching the end of round five of the contest. Get off him, get off him. Break, step out, nice and I've clean. I've never seen a fighter go, before looking so confident as this Fennec. I mean, he is just enjoying every moment of this fight. And all the fights that I've seen him in, he's enjoyed. Well, that was a pretty even round. Um, 
Uh, I thought, uh, Barry, I would have scored them evenly in that round, but I have uh, Finnick a couple of points in front at this stage of the contest. Yes, John, I'd have to agree. That was a very even round. Uh, much better round for Coffey. Uh, he seemed to handle the pressure of uh, Jeff a lot, of, of Jeff Finnick a lot better that round. He's, uh, here, here you can see uh, Jeff lunging in with the, the left hook and missing. Uh, Coffey moving all the time. Uh, tried the overhand right on a number of occasions. He actually landed a couple of good, good rights in this round. Uh, and a, as I said, a better round for Coffey. Uh, that's the sort of fight he's got to fight, is to make Jeff miss, keep the jab in his face, and keep moving. But uh, it's, it's going to be hard to do for 15 rounds, especially with Jeff on him like a bull terrier. Yes, uh, we've made the point uh, frequently, but I think it's worth uh, making again. Uh, stay back uh, in your corner. Stay in the corner. Let's Fennec go. Stay back so in your strong. corner. Watch the water. Stay back. Uh, he's got stay good back. weight up in the chest. Stay back. Chest Round and six. the shoulders. Nice and clean. I think as a bantamer, he could be one of the strongest fighters in the world today. And that includes the WBC and the WBA championships as well. Well, this is round six of this championship contest over 15 rounds. Round six. Fennec of Australia in the green against Coffey of the United States. Both men have settled down a little bit now and uh, are more... Uh, picky with their punches and not wasting too much in this early part of the round. Coffey has uh, led a lot to the body, hasn't he? He's, uh, he's varying it. He's going uh, to the body and then to the head. He's trying to pull uh, Fennec's defence down so he can come over the top with a right hand. If I break, you're wrestling, you're wrestling. No heading on a break. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Some of the crowd not too happy with the, uh, uh, the referee going in to separate the boys. I don't particularly care for the referee's physical handling of these two little fellas because he's a big man, this referee, and uh, by pushing him around by his own physical strength, it's not going to any good. No holding, no holding, no holding. He's also uh, nullifying Jeff Fennick's battle strategy, you know, by parting him all the time. That's, that's Jeff fight to fight, Je is Jeff's fight to fight up close. Yes, he likes to do the uh, the infighting. He's very strong. Right, break, break, break. You hold and, Step back. Uh, Let him go. That's when he's very good. In close. No holding, no holding. Get off him. Yes, uh, right to the head by uh, Fennick. No holding, no holding. The Just American was on the back move, so uh, it didn't hurt. All right, break, break, break. Stay off the back of the head. Stop the holding in there. No holding, no holding. It gets a little bit messy at the end of the round as both men are, are uh, very eager to get at each other, so I hope it doesn't turn into a wrestling match. Well, the referee is determined to keep them right, apart anyway. Again, he asked them to separate. Wild swing by Kofi that missed by a mile. Stop the holding. Get off him, those get off punches him, get off from Fennec didn't land either. No holding, no holding. No holding. And this is what the crowd likes to see. The boxer no standing toe to toe and trading leather. But uh, Fennec is doing the better. Jeff is one of those annoying fighters oh, that oh, reminds oh, me oh, back oh, of oh, Joe oh, Frazier. No, no, the continuous the pressure that he puts on his opponents is so disheartening. You have to be in one hell of a condition to, to, to keep him away from you. And the crowd's coming alive at this uh, exciting no, no. moment. Yes, uh, they no, like to see this. Plenty of leather being thrown. But uh, Fennec has landed the better punches so far, and that's the end. Oh, of that's the terrible thing to do. Both men, I think, should be warned by the referee for headbutting, because I think it, it's, it's not the kind of thing that a, a world championship fighter should have, is headbutting in the ring. No, it's uh, certainly not. And uh, perhaps we could pick that up again. Uh, but Barry, uh, okay, that was I'm a good round for Jeff. Too. Another good round for, uh, I'm gonna for Jeff Fennig. I think uh, Jerome Coffey's probably I'm thinks that Jeff's worse than the American tax the break, collector I'm because penalized. he just won't leave you alone. He's on top of you like, a, uh, <laughs> like the tax collector. And believe me, us <laughs> professional boxers who make a dollar know exactly what they're like. <laughs> perhaps that's a message for uh, you people <laughs> in America when... Uh, when Barry comes over in February. Well, at least they're well, tax There style. it is. That's, that's just uh, a, a, a butt. Very uncalled for by uh, Jeff Fennick. From Fennick. Just walking straight up to the American. Only uh, a really? very light little yeah, head butt there. But uh, that sure. sort of thing can be very dangerous. It was just a, it was just a gesture, but it was unnecessary, as Joe said. But, uh, Let's keep it clean in there. I've, I've noticed that uh, Jerome's been worried about the head butts 
right from the start. And now this is round seven. And a good left from Fanny. No, uh, no, no, no. And rice to the Stop body. This could turn out to be a real serious grudge fight, and uh, I hope the referee is capable of handling it because no uh, holding, no holding. up till now he's been doing a fair job, um, but we don't need any more headbutts. No, certainly not. It was only a bit of a tap, but uh, that could lead to more serious things. Well, it could have ended the fight for Kofi because a serious headbutt could have opened him up very seriously with a cut. That's it. Oh, good left into the body from Penick. Biff left jabs. Keep him up, keep him up. Get off his head, get off his head. Keep it Jeff clean. Jeff is such a brilliant little boxer when he puts his act together, you know. No he, he really puts the punches together well. He's got a good straight left jab. Well, there's a nice left Good to the face. Look. Missed for the second one. No holding, no holding, no. Stay off that neck. No holding in there, no holding. Turn him loose. Then he continues to uh, show his strength no, in this no, contest. No. Physically strong. No holding, no holding. That's it. Watch your head, watch your head. Both men are burning up a lot of loose. energy in his in fighting. No holding, no holding. Now, I think Kofi's watch coming off the worst. Yes, uh, Fennec has landed the, uh, the stronger punches. No, and more no, of them no. he scores to the head. Turn him loose. Goes back to the body. Turn him loose. No, no. There I think doesn't seem to be much power in those watch punches head, from watch Kofi. Head. There's a lot more sting in the, uh, the gloves of Jeff Fennec. Another good left and another from Fennec. All right, and another left from right. And Kofi's in trouble over in the neutral corner. A good round for Jeff Fennec. Excellent fight. And the crowd is 100% behind Fennec. Get off his neck. Yes, he's a very popular boy in Sydney. A Sydney boy, of course, and very popular with his hometown crowd. And they love to see no, him no. on top. Round seven, a very good round for Jeffrey Fennec, the world Bantabay champion. Watch your head, watch your head. Kofi's going to be very happy to see the end watch of this round, I must say. Well, a lot of his strength no, has no, been sapped by those blows to the body from Jeff Fennick. And he's up. occasionally gone Keep up to up. the head where he scored also with lefts and rights. No, that's it. Well, they've got eight seconds to go. No, no. And there'll Keep be a long eight seconds for a coffee who's taken a lot of punishment in this round. A very good round for Jeff Fennick. And listen to the reception. There's um, Jeff, Jeff Fennick on top of Jerome Coffey there in the, in the action you can see. As I said earlier, John, it would be just a matter of time before, the, before Jeff Fennick drew uh, Coffey in the fighting Jeff sort of fight. Now, this is the, I talk about Ray Mancini being a non-stop fighter. There's this a is, great uh, left. And this another one. This, the, the this is to show the Americans there. that we've got fighters, good fighters out here too. Yes, yeah, a very good round for Jeff Fennick. Some uh, very good body blows, and uh, then towards the end of the fight, some very good punches to the head. But uh, Joe Bogner, Coffey, still seems to be pretty uh, clear-eyed. Yes, eh? they are. Yes, he is, and it, it just shows how fit the man is. And you're quite right, uh, Barry. We've got some great fighters in Australia, and you happen to be one of them. Thank you very much, Joe. And let's I hope just... the Americans are listening to that, because when you go knocking on their door, well, Chacon, they won't, watch okay, out. Stay back they in won't corner, forget stay me, in that's for corner. sure. Let's go, stay Well, in the it's corner, seconds out, and he is Run round eight at the NDC Big nice Fight at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. Keep it clean in there, you're looking like pro. Jeffrey Fennick of Australia in the green against Jerome Kid Coffey of Nashville, Tennessee. Both these young men. going throughout Australia on uh, the ABC, more than 280 television stations live, and of course, throughout the United States. I think both these men have uh, burnt up a lot of energy and uh, <laughs> we might see some nice boxing now from him for a couple of rounds. Yes, uh, uh, a lot of uh, Coffey's energy, I, was, uh, I would say, was sapped in that uh, seventh round. So perhaps he's got to uh, just steady down a little bit, but uh, he can't take too many of those blows from uh, Jeff Finney. Kofi settles down, Jeff puts the pressure on him. Keep him up. Uh, that's the perfect kind of fight that uh, the fans love to see. Another left to the face by uh, Fennec. Working. 
Seems to be a little less thing in no those holding, depths. No holding, no holding. Now, Joe. All right, no holding in the hitting. Jake, step out. Let him go. Let him go. Step back. Um, I think Fennick has taken, but. as you say, a lot of um, energy out of his because he's been hitting with some great uh, body shots. Um, but I don't. I never give up on a fight until the uh, the final bell because uh, if the man is standing on his feet, he can still come out with some unexpected punches and. Uh, Oh, yes, he's a long way from being out of the uh, the contest, uh, Jerome Kid Coffey. But uh, at this stage, Fennick appears to be on top. I mean, both men are undefeated. Jerome Coffey's had 26 fights with 11 knockouts. Get off him now, get Jeff off him now. Fennick's had 11 fights. I said, keep it clean. And uh, almost all of them knockouts. So uh, they both really haven't been tested to the full of their ability yet. That's right. And, one of, them, and one of them tonight will lose. Turn him loose. And yes. I'm Turn him loose. I know who. That's true, it'll be the first defeat turn for one loose, of these loose, boxes. Turn him loose, And uh, what a contest to, uh, to win or lose. The World Championship bout. Both men have a, a tremendously, uh, a lot of money riding on this fight, so... Let him go, let him go, let him go! We shall see some incredible fighting No hold no hold no hold stay off the neck. Stay off the neck. Stay off the neck, says the referee, uh, Rudy Battle. Right, Jeff Fennick uh, continues to uh, follow Coffee around the ring. There's absolutely no power in those left jibes now by Coffee. No, it seems to have gone. There's a lot more authority in no, those uh, gloves him, of Jeff Fennick. Turn him loose, that's it, nice and clean. Corner. The end of round number eight. Well, that was definitely Jeff's, uh, Jeff's round again. And it seems to be a pattern now that uh, Jeff is just too strong. Yeah, I'm sure, uh, Barry Michael, you'd agree. I, I definitely agree. Uh, Coffey's actually scored quite a bit with the left hand that round, but as you said, uh, during the round, there doesn't seem to be as much sting in it. You can see that uh, the man is, well, you can see why he's the number one contender. He's a beautiful boxer. Uh, but unfortunately, I, I, you know, I don't think he's got the firepower to, uh, to stop the forward march of, of Jeff Fennick. Uh, as you can see, Jerome Coffey in the corner, he still looks. Uh, very clear eyed he's, he's in incredible physical condition. His body looks uh, extremely hard. Uh, I, I guess that he's, he's lacked a bit of fight condition because he's only had two uh, fights that went uh, only a couple, only I think six rounds in the last year, which is uh, okay. Seconds out. Let's well, go. He won his Let's last uh, contest uh, by a knockout in three rounds. A knockout in round three against Bill Cook, and the one before that in also three. a knockout in uh, three rounds against Steve Guest. Keep it clean, gentlemen. Yep. So uh, as you say, he hasn't had uh, a lot of boxing. And here we are at the start of round nine. Yes, round nine of this 15 three-minute rounds World Championship contest. And still, Coffey backpedals around the ring with uh, Fennick, the champion, going after his man. Well, this will be almost new territory for Jeff. Uh, a few more rounds and... <laughs> yes, after ground. this one, he is into new territory. He hasn't gone beyond the uh, ninth round before. He's uh, finished all his opponents uh, either in or before the round, uh, the ninth round. Jeff just hit Kofi with a combination that uh, totally bamboozled Kofi. Uh. No holding, no holding in there. Keep it yes. clean. Good punches to the body by Penny, both left and right. Watch your head. Another left into the body and a Turn right. Turn loose. You're holding and hitting. You're holding Fennick and hitting. Trying to Step punch back, with the left. Let go. No holding and hitting. Keep it clean. Oh, good punch to the uh, the face from the uh, right hand of Jeff Fennick. No holding, no holding. It seems to me, right, break, uh, break, break, John, that uh, Kofi may have left the best part of his uh, fitness in the gym. Because it, it, although there is Vaseline on his body or some kind of oil, there's a, there's a, a grey sheen right, to break, his skin, break, break, which watch means that he may have overtrained for this fight. That's quite possible, Turn too. He has trained head. very, very hard. Stay off the head. Jeff looks as remarkable as ever, and of course, his crisp is sharp. And uh, Jeff's trainer must be doing a great job on Jeff because he's always 100% fit on the oh. night of the fight. Copy. Uh, oh, 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 no uh, wrestling, no wrestling. That's it, Fennick nice back clean. into the neutral corner on that occasion, but uh, most of the punches were taken on the gloves by Fennick. That's it. Keep him up, keep him up. Get off his head. All right, break your holding, you're holding, step back. No holding. Still, there's not clean. too much in this round. Jeff can virtually hit Coffey now at will uh, with his left jab. Keep him up. Stay off that hip. Good right cross by Coffey. 
All right, break, break, break. You hold on, you hold on, you hold on. Step back, step back. A little this smile from Jeff. Grin from uh, <laughs> Jeff Fennick, yes. Usually that's a sign that a boxer's been hurt when he grins at his opponent, but I Not don't, think, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't think Fennick was hurt on that occasion. No holding, get off him. Good punch Watch your heads. One, yes. two. Watch your heads. Well, Fennick's hitting very hard. Coffee trying to fight wait, back wait. off the ropes. Step back. But a good exchange there for uh, Fennick. Point. And good another punch. left rip into the body as the bell sounds the end of round nine. A comment again from Barry Michael. Well, John, I think uh, Jerome Coffey landed probably his, his best combinations uh, of the fight in that round. They didn't seem to have uh, much effect, if any effect, on uh, the walk-up non-stop Jeff Fennick. Uh, and towards the end of the round, actually right, right on the last uh, 30 seconds, he had Jerome in quite a bit of distress over in his own corner. Um, I, I, must, I must say, though, that I am impressed with, with uh, Jerome Coffey. As you see him, uh, Jeff putting the pressure on here, ripping to the body. Uh, nice left jab from Jerome Coffey there. Uh, I must say I am impressed with Jerome Coffey's uh, ability to take punishment and also to, to tie his opponent up and to make him miss. He's, uh, you can see that experience of, of hundreds of amateur fights behind him. Yes, in fact, he had 205 okay, amateur contests and he won 193 of them. Let's go. It's a fantastic record. I'm surprised to see that he hasn't got a good short right, though. He kind of overhands it every time. And Jeff uh, that water. sees it quite easy. Well, good left and right by Coffee there to start the round. Yes, the start of round 10. So this is now new territory for Jeff Fennick. He's never been into a 10th round before. But Nothing. he looks uh, fit enough to fight uh, 10 more. <laughs> it certainly does. Coffee, nice too, is still looking very fit. It's nice to see that both men have settled down now and they're, they're doing a professional job. And I'm sure the fans are enjoying every bit of this boxing because it is first class and, of course, world class boxing. Good left by Fennec and another. And I must, say, heads, and I must say, John, ABC has done it again, you know, they, he, they, I mean, this young Jeff Fennick has uh, really proved himself, and uh, the last one we saw with Barry Michael, of course, he's done it. We get the best fights. And, of course, uh, this is being watched all around Australia on uh, ABC television. And, of course, America. Good uh, combination there by Coffey, left underneath and right over the top, another right by Coffey and a couple no, of other no. cuts. Oh, another couple of good punches from uh, from Coffey. I think even Jeff was stung there for, for a mo momentarily and uh, I, I, don't, I don't think Jeff says, I think I don't think I'd better do that too often. Yes, like well, they were the best scoring punches we've uh, seen from Coffey for some rounds. I break, turn him loose, like let him go, I said, nice until clean, the final bell, an opponent is as dangerous as, as a lion who's been wounded. Get off his head! Light lefts to the face from uh, Fennick. This is the first time we've seen Jeff Fennick backpedaling. Yes, and now Coffey showing his speed, trying a lot of leather. There's not a no, great no. deal of power in them. All right, break, stop punching, let him go, stop punching. a lot of those on the gloves and uh, weave to evade uh, some of them. No holding, no holding, get off him! Hold up, get off his head. All right, break, let him up, let him up, let him up, turn him loose. Let him go, let him go, step back, let him go. No, that gun no, shield no. that Kofi has in his mouth seems to be far too large for him. Yes. Because he seems to be gasping for head. air, which I'm not surprised at right. with the body shots he's taken. Both hands I wish Keep he had working. a more better fitting gun shield because turn that's him unnecessary. Turn him loose. Stop wrestling, stop wrestling. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Well, this coach has certainly come to fight, and yes. I must say the Australian public are appreciating his, 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 his uh, determination to, uh, to fight for this world title, because it'll only come once in a lifetime. That was um, actually a very good round for Coffey. I, I must say I must give that round to uh, 
Jerome Coffey. He's yes, he scored well, didn't he? And he, here he are some of the a, punches. A good combination of lefts and rights, and I think uh, Jeff was a little bit surprised, and I think it's probably the first time I've actually seen Jeff uh, a little bit shaken. Coffey showed that uh, he's here to fight. He wants to take the title back. These next five rounds are very, very important. There's Coffey in the corner, and he looks uh, clear-eyed, breathing, breathing very well, superbly fit man. He's, he's come here to take the title, all right? Um, but if he, if he wants to do it, he's got to come home in these last five rounds. And neither man has gone into this um, into these rounds before. Uh, it's the fighter who wins a championship fight is the fighter who comes home in those championship rounds. Now, hopefully we'll see Jeff Fennick do that. We're, we're in around 11, the start of round 11 now. Um, I'm sure the last five rounds are going to be very exciting. And uh, Coffee, I think, nice uh, clean. a little bit more confident after that last round. Yes, he round certainly 10. is. He came out looking very determined, didn't he? he hit at Jeff the start of round 11. He hit Jeff with some good punches. And he realised that Jeff Fennick can be hit because he is only human. And uh, we may, as uh, Barry said, we may see a five excellent rounds. So for Coffey to win it from here, he's got to come home very, very strongly. And we're going to have to see a complete reversal uh, of the first ten oh. rounds. Oh, good punches from Good left uh, by Jeff Fennick. Oh. Yes. Uh, him good look. combination. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Left I think and he's right. hurt. These uh, Americans seem to have a great recovery uh, uh, system, you know, where they've been hit with a great punch and they recover so quickly. That's the sign of uh, fitness. Good Coffee left jabs. Still reaching out with that left. There's a bit of sting in the mat. As he showed in that last round, he landed some very good punches in that round 10. Jeff has now got his uh, act together, he's, he's boxing very right, Turn him loose, turn him loose, let him go. Turn his head loose, let him go. Nice and clean, step back. That didn't do any damage because it was more of a slap than uh, a punch. From Kofi. And that right from Fennig taken on the gloves by Kofi. And Kofi makes him miss with the right. Left to the face from uh, Coffee. Oh, on a big right over the top from Coffee, but uh, it didn't hurt Fennick. Get off him! Stay off that head! Again, Coffee lands with a right as uh, Fennick tried to score to the body. Coffee seems to be more determined now, so please get some heavy punches in and. Uh, Unfortunately, he swings them from way back and uh, he's not getting his full le leverage behind them. There's no power behind his punches. No holding, no holding. This is a determined Kofi yes, now. Yes, Kofi is uh, determined to use that right hand now. He's throwing a lot more. Oh, good left from uh, Fennick to the face. Right, let him go, let him go, let him go. Again, step back. Hurt no Coffey. pushing, he's, just step uh, back. Certainly fit. The wear and tear on Kofi's face is, sh is showing now quite clearly. He's gasping for air now and uh, could be just a matter of time before Fennec uh, gets on top of him. All right, break, turn him loose, nice and clean, that's it, let him go. Watch your head. Well, that's the end of round 11 and there wasn't much in that one, Barry. Another, another fairly close round. Kofi's uh, definitely showing, showing out better in these last two rounds. I'm sure his corner has told him that uh, He's behind on points and that uh, if he wants to take the championship back to the USA, he's going to have to do more. And uh, the last few rounds, he's, he's tried very, very valiantly, very, very hard. Uh, as th Again, that was a very even round. I wouldn't like to split them in that round. No, I, I scored that one even. Uh, nothing between them uh, in that round, round 11. But uh, I thought Coffee took the points of uh, uh, round number 10. But I have Fennick uh, clearly in front uh, up to this point. Well, I would say so. I don't think there's any disputing that fact. But... Uh, Coffee, you know, as I said, he's here to try and win the world title, and, and I think, uh, look, they're psyching him right up in the corner, uh, right on, man. You know, they're saying, get out there and do your do your business. He, look, he's, he's coming out determined. Well, he had to say 12. himself too. It what started. Did... We're nearly into the championship round yes. now. Yes, round 12. Round 12. And uh, Coffee just about had a shower in the corner between. Uh, 
rounds uh, 11 and 12, but there's plenty of water on uh, Fennec as well. I Very hot in the uh, Sydney Entertainment Centre under those uh, bright lights over the ring. Very hot indeed. Especially with 12,000 fans looking on and all in anticipation and uh, enjoying every minute of this fight. Round 12, Geoffrey Fennec of Australia. Good right hand by Fennec, two of them. The International Boxing Federation champion defending his title against Jerome Kid Coffey of the United States. Good left from uh, Fennec. Another left to the face from Fennec. Coffey goes after him. Has him uh, in the neutral corner, but Fennec uh, jabs with the left. Comes out. Big right hand uh, from uh, Jerome Coffey. Miss. Punch by Fennec. Yes, I think he's very good left. Healthy. He's hurt. Coffee's hurt. Turn him loose. Let him go. Beautiful left from Fennec. He's still groggy. Yeah. Fennec knows it. He's got him over his no, 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 corner. Stop that. Coffee forced to hang on. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Break. Break. Watch ahead. And the uh, referee being booed by the crowd because they feel that uh, Fennec has been robbed of the opportunity of. Uh, no. Continuing the pressure on Coffey. Jeff smells win. Jeff smells win. I'm sure yes, he lands again. Pressure. Right hand left to the face and uh, left to the body. Good punching from Fennec. Keep working, keep this working. is a good round for Jeff Fennec, the champion. Coffey has been hurt. Rolling. Turn him loose. Let him go. Step back. Why are you holding? Great. For the the first hanging on. The referee warning him for holding. Oh, you're holding, you're holding, you're holding. Uh, the champion up here, not allowing him to uh, get in a good solid punch. Kofi has come to fight here, John. It's, 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 it's wonderful to see that he's come here to try and lift the crown off Fennec. And Fennec, relentless as he is, will not allow him to do that. Watch your head. No holding, no holding. Fennec trying no to fight, or at least uh, Kofi trying to fight back here, but the more solid blows are being landed by Fennec in close. Well, they got it right up to the side of the head. Cut him loose. Let him loose, says the referee. Well, and there we go. Oh, good punches, punches by Jeff Fennick. Good combination left and right. Oh, big punches from Fennick, and he's after his man once more. Coffee trying to fight back now, and he lands a good right. Good right good hand right. by Coffee. No hold him. And I didn't no think he'd have no the no strength left to throw that one, but it was a beautiful right. No hold him, no hold him. No holding, says the referee, as Fennec still Watch goes after his man. Has he won the ropes? Throws right and left, left to the body, right to the body. And there's the bell for the end of round 12. And a great round of boxing. And that's really stirred up this 12,000 plus crowd at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. I mean, how, tremendous round. how strong is this man, Jeff Fennec? I mean, look. Just kept, just kept throwing those punches in there. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Jerome Coffey hurt badly early in the round. Pinned in the corner. Weathered the storm. Fought back valiantly. But uh, Jeff Fennick uh, all over him like the tax collector. Barry that, was, Barry, that was a total of two minutes of solid punching from Jeff Fennick, which I've never seen before in a, in a, in a world title fight, especially in the 12th round. I mean, Mate, 12th round, that's, that's the first time he's been in the tw into the 12th round in his life. You know, like he's he's a freak. He's, his strength is incredible. It's definitely beyond him and Jeff Pennick's strength. Well, we're now into the championship round. Round 13 coming up. And Coffee came out very smartly from his corner. So did Pennick. Coffee still looks very determined, but he was really hurt in round 12. Some great punching from uh, Pennick, the champion. Coffee, to his credit came back in the closing stages of the round and landed a beautiful right himself. Left into the nice body from Fennick. I think it's incredible oh, that both men are much. undefeated and, and they are both now trying to prove something to the world and uh, the margin of uh, between winning and losing between two undefeated opponents can be quite fantastic. And there's another element too. I mentioned earlier, both had tremendous national pride. Benick is out there for Australia. Oh, great, 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 and great, great, Coffee great. is there for Keep the United States. Up. Keep them up. Again, the crowd, not happy with the referee. There's a very Separating. serious look on Coffee's uh, face no, no, at the moment, John. Let him go. That's I think he was a bit upset with because of that low blow. Punches to the body from Coffee.
to, but Bennett break, comes break, back to the head. Let him go. Keep it clean. It's a very dangerous round for both fighters because this is uh, new ground for them. And they're both still throwing some big punches, so... Uh, no holding, no holding in there. It's what they call the devil's round, round 13, Jay. Be careful, Barry, I was born on the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> now, a good punch from Fennec, uh, left of the face. That's it. And a right to the body in the uh, in fighting. Oh, great, 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 you're wrestling, you're wrestling. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Benick is still so strong. Here we are in round 13. No holding, no holding. The third Keep last round of the contest. And Jeff Benick. Right, break, break, break. Let him go, let him go. Step back. Turn him loose. Let him go. Keep the punches up. Coffee too has never been this distance before. He's never been into 13 rounds. I think the fantastic thing here, John, is that uh, Fennick has proven, I'm sure, to all the boxing critics who have uh, sort of said, oh, he, he might not be able to go 15 rounds or this and that and the other. And here he is in 13th keep round, up, up in as fit as almost as he was in the first round. And that's uh, credit to him. Keep him up. And Coffey is uh, showing his speed in this round. Are you wrestling? Stop the wrestling. Weather. Stop the wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Jeff says, let me get to him. Stop the wrestling. Let's keep Jeff Fennick was saying, let me get to him. <laughs> Turn him loose. All right, break, 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 break. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. No holding, no holding. Keep him up. Keep the punches up. The little Aussie battler has certainly oh, proven himself. Break, break. Wrestling. Stop wrestling. To be a Let's great go. fighter. Good champion. No holding. Keep him up. Keep him up. Keep him up, says the referee. Another punch from Fennick. A little bit low. But that's the end of round 13. Only two to go in this 15 rounds championship contest. Yes, I think uh, here we are with some of the action. Action replay. Um, Jerome landed a series of lefts and lefts and rights here. Thank you, Walt. Hit, uh, but at this stage of the fight, I can't see that uh, even that. You see, that's a slapping sort of punch. Unfortunately, uh, Jerome isn't a puncher. Another a good right hand by Coffey there, but uh, Jeff not perturbed at all. And, and there's, there's Kid Coffey, uh, still looking pretty uh, pretty fit himself. Still uh, clear-eyed, uh, Barry. He looks very well, mate. He's, as I said, he's in superb physical condition. Both fighters looked, ex well, especially Coffey looked very exhausted towards the end of that round. Jeff walked back to his corner with a grin. Stay he's he's in a new ground, but he, I believe he's relishing it, Jeff. Let's Benning. go, let's go. Stay back. And now Stay the back. second last round. The referee calls him out for round 14. Right, let's keep it clean. You're like this in there. Keep it clean. I think without uh, doubt, Jeff Fennick is, a w is way ahead on points here. Um, Unless an unforeseen punch comes out of the blue, which I very much doubt, uh, I can't see Fennec losing this I fight. Let him go. You're wrestling. Well, I've been scoring nice at Joe, nice and I've got him seven That's points it. ahead. Uh, 129, 122 at this stage Turn with uh, uh, just this about, round about, and nice the 15th to go. It'll be interesting to see how close that is to the judges, but uh, certainly will. Certainly, uh, a lead of seven points. That's a big margin, and that's a good punch too. A good left hook by Fennec. Uh, Kofi knew that one. I break your hole and your hole, and no hitting on a break. Nice and clean. That's it. When I said earlier on, John, that I, I didn't think, I think Kofi had left most of his uh, uh, training in the ring, uh, in the gymnasium. What I meant no, to say no, by that no. is that his sharpness had, uh, although he's very, very no, fit and no. he's, he's obviously very strong, his sharpness was, I think, left in the gymnasium. There's no crispiness within his punches. They're just sort of methodical, as Barry said earlier. A lot of them are, um, a, a, a cups, really, Joe, or slaps. Yes, he's got right, no, yes. nothing crispy, whereas Fennec is absolutely on, on target. Yes, in that last round, he, he cuffed with the inside of the glove a couple of times. Still oh, there with a, a couple of light rights to the, uh, to the body in that clinch. Then, uh, All right, break, break, break. Watch your heads. Watch your head. Turn around. All right, break, 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 oh, break. They, they shouldn't be heads. using the head again. They're both boys are now uh, Come on, trying keep it to each other. I think it's football, I think. It's a bit light for that now. No holding, no holding. Oh, good body punches again from Jeff Benning. And they must have heard the uh, challenge. No holding, no holding. Jerome Coffey. Fennick again scores up to the head. Oh, you're holding, you're holding, watch your hands. As his opponent at the neutral corner, but the referee again brings them out to centre ring. No holding. 
referee uh, Rudy Battle has certainly had a busy time in this contest. No, no. Fennick again scores to the body. Right. Jeff has again taken oh, over the domineering part of this round where he's pushing Kofi back and virtually at will. Good right to the head by uh, Fennick. Kofi is just out of instinct now pushing out that left jab which absolutely has no power at all behind it. Keep him up, keep him up. Again Fennick goes into keep the body. Fifteen seconds of uh, the no, penultimate no, no, round no, remaining. Well, the Australian public have certainly got their money's worth here, John. And both these young men have put on a fantastic performance. And we've got another... Uh, break, 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 break. And another good round and another for good round. Uh, Jeffrey Fennick. Round 14, only one to go. And uh, I can't see any way in the world that uh, Coffey is going to win this one. Neither can I, John. I think they could... Uh, Actually, let Jerome take the corner still out into the 15th round. He still wouldn't have much effect on Jeff Fennick. You can see, as you can see, Jeff in the corner. Okay, wouldn't this blow a candle out. Gloves in the center. Awesomely fit. Incredibly strong. A very impressive. Last round, he got gloves Fennick. in the center. Yes, a very good performance by this young man who, in the past, has never been beyond nine rounds. And listen to the crowd. For the first time, Kofi is gasping for air, so oh, I think I here. think the body punchers have told on him in the latter Stay part now. The Stay in the corner. Fenix as cool as a cucumber. And he's anxious to get on with round 15. Then he comes out. Stay back. The referee says, "Stay Keep back." I think I think you'll see Jeff still try for the knockout in the 15th round. He wants We're it bad. We touch and glove. The bell hasn't touch sounded gloves, yet. Now back. the referee says, "Touch gloves, uh, gloves." Step back and now box. So the last, last round, three, last round, only three minutes remaining last in this round, World Championship good. contest. Jeffrey Fennick of Sydney in the green shorts, defending his World Bantamweight title against Jerome Kipchoffi of the United States. What is and remarkable, John, is that neither of the two fighters got oh, any damage he's, he's on their face. Hurt so Jeff with the right hand. Other than that slight incident earlier on, they both uh, no, had a very no, good, no, clean no. fight. All Jeffrey Fennick has got to do in this final round is just box no, his opponent. I break your arm. You're holding. You're holding. Not take any risks because he's got Last this round, title wrapped up. He's got the uh, the contest won. All he has to do is stay on his feet. And I'm sure Jerome Coffey is looking forward to the end of this round and. Uh, He's saying to himself, give me some Huon Valley oh, Springs home, water, home, please. Because he's dying off first. <laughs> well, Coffee now, looking for an opening. He wants to throw that big one that will put uh, Fennick down and uh, end this contest. But I can't see any way that he's going to knock Fennick off his feet. No chance, and the fans yeah. are obviously relating to this now, that uh, they're obviously a clear winner for Jeff Fennick. But it's nice to see Kofi coming in at the last round and still having a go at uh, a great champion. And he certainly you tried. Holding, you're holding, you're uh, he's thrown some big punches. Thrown them wildly. Still coming on strong, Kofi. <laughs> Maybe he's uh, left it a bit too up, late. Let him up, turn him loose, let him up. Yes, he has left it too late. Fennick, I think, is too far in front to lose this goal. Oh, good combination from Fennick, left and right. Great Beautiful great punches great. Nice and clean. in round 15. We're not that far from the end of this contest now. And Jeff Fennick now goes for the body. Forces his opponent oh, great, across great, the ring. Great, let him go. And the referee again separates him. Fennick misses with a big oh, wild great, right great, hand. He's looking for a knockout too. Oh, let him up, let lands him up, the let right him up, into the body as he took a left on the chin from Coffey. And now Coffey lands with left and right combination. Uh, break, loose, Both go. these men deserve a great applause from the fans because they've done a fantastic uh, break, job. Break, no wrestling, no wrestling, no wrestling. Benick again lands, left and right. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. Not far from the end let of the contest. Very close to the end now. This has been a fairly even uh, round. Go, Both of them have thrown around, uh, plenty of leather. Some big punches, 10 seconds left. And Jeff Benick certainly has no, retained no. his title. He's outpointed the American. Coffee on the road. Oh, brilliant fight. 15. The contest is all over. It's all over. 
and uh, we here at the uh, commentary position, Barry Michael, Joe Bugner and I will be most surprised if uh, Jeff Fennick does not get the uh, decision. By unanimous decision, retaining his International Boxing Federation Bantamweight Championship of the World, Jeff Fennick. Yes, a unanimous decision in favour of Jeff Fennick. So Jeff Fennick is still the Bantamweight Champion of the World. And there you see Jeff with the championship belt. Uh, I'm just so happy. Uh, that's a great, the hardest fighter I've ever fought. The best by far. Now he said he'd beat me with the jab and uh, like I said, I've only been boxing for four years, but my trainer Johnny Lewis has taught me more in four years than anybody will learn in 20 years. And I love him so much, just to thank John and all the people that helped me. Jeff, you've never been past uh, the ninth round before. How did it feel from round 10 on? Well, it was, it was, it was very, very difficult, but uh, you know, like I said, uh, you know, I'm not just a brawler, I can box, so you know. And, uh, Today I just showed Jeff all Australians that I really President can box in there. You know, uh, I Ryan just used my jab and that was Australian the winning out punch for me. Television. Jeff, you look very confident all the way through. Did you always feel that you uh, had it under under control? Yes, John, I got, I got tired at stages, but, uh, you know, I trained very, very hard with Johnny Lewis and uh, the old second wing come along whenever I needed it. And what's coming up next for you, Jeff? A good rest, John. I'm just so happy that uh, all the rest of the Australians that couldn't buy tickets and I can watch on the ABC. Thank you very much, ABC. John Harker, the tail of the tape. Yes, both fighters, 22 years of age. Jeff Fennick, as you said, a record of 14-0. Tony Miller, he's had 22 fights, 19 wins, one draw and two losses. 56.59 kilograms is Jeff Fennick, and he's happy about that. Featherweight, the first time he hasn't had to fast. Miller, surprisingly, came in lighter. 55.8 kilograms. He's lighter than Fennick, and that was a surprise at today's weigh-in. 170 centimetres is the height of Jeff Fennick. He's got an advantage there, and he's also got an advantage in reach. 169 centimetres reach, 157 Tony Mad Dog Miller. 90 centimetres chest for both of them, and this should be, as I said, one hell of a war. Miller, a brawler. Right, John. Sorry, that's ready. That's... Welcome back to the Melbourne Sports and Entertainment Centre. It's the first round between Tony Miller and Jeff Fennick before this excellent crowd here. 12 three-minute rounds for the Australian featherweight title. And Peter Denzel Creed, when he gave the instructions, very, very stern in using the head. And we know that both of these gentlemen intend to use the head. Fennick against Zaragozo and Coffey used his head and Tony Mad Dog Miller didn't get that nickname for...